Lids on Two, sponsored by Roper Hospital, Denton's Shipyard, Physicians Foot Care, and Steen Enterprises. This is the 10th week of the high school football season. Time really flew by and got past us. Yeah. Um, this is the last regular season week of the football season. Thank you for watching the Blitz on 2. We have more region titles, rivalries, and we're looking ahead to the playoffs. We've got a little bit of everything tonight. Yeah, some fantastic matchups in our first cold football night. It was chilly. How do you feel? You got through it. I'm, I'm not numb. I have. She's not my, numb. My fingers aren't numb. Yeah, we're good. Good enough for me. Bishop England <laughs> and Manning, a region title on the line in the 3A world tonight. Two evenly matched teams that promise to be a good one. A skis arrival reporter gown in First Baptist. The Cyclones going to the Hurricanes' place in a big time storm out on James Island. Goose Creek, they are trying to close out the season with an undefeated region record and a region title. And then, of course, the big one last year, very dramatic, came down to the final seconds. The Greenway have got the W then. This year, we got a Region 8 title. That's what this game is for. Somerville and Fort Dorchester is our game of the week. Let's on to Game of the Week is sponsored by Denton's Shipyard. Like we said, Fort Dorchester, Dorchester traveled all the way to Somerville. Early in the first, Roan Shower recovers a Fort D fumble. And that sets up the green wave nicely for this next play. Colby Shirey finds his guy Perry Wilder, who he found a lot tonight, breaks off a couple of tackles, and then takes it a long way all the way to the house. Somerville with a very quick lead in their own house. Now, after another fumble recovery, though, Somerville moves right down the field. They score again on this handoff to Perry Wilder, puts the green wave up 14 to nothing. We are still early in the second half. They are showing out in a big way. For Dorchester, they're not going to be silent. They answer back in the very next drive. Touchdown pass Zoltan Osborne to Keith Destacher makes this score 14 to 7. Let's go back to the green wave. Shirey, a bomb to his guy, Brody Hopkins, and that sets up Somerville for a field goal a couple of plays later. Back again to Fort Dorchester. Pretty back and forth early. Mm -hmm. Patriots quarterback Zoltan Osborne passes to Destacher again, puts the fort within just a few yards of the goal. And then after this pass, which does get them close to the goal line, DeAndre Sab, he is there. He didn't throw it this time, but he runs it in himself, putting the score 17 to 14 at halftime. Fort Dorchester comes all the way back to 28 answer, unanswered points and wins it 35 to 17 to clinch the region championship. Let's head on up to Monk's Corner where the Stags were at home taking on Kane Bay. We're wasting no time, folks. First play of the game, Trey Chisholm deep, and it looks like a game of 500 with all the bodies there, and Solomon Butler comes down with it. Two plays later, Chisholm, read play, and this is accelerated learning. Puts on the afterburners and cruises on in just one minute into this ball game, and Randy Robinson is like, yeah, more of that, please. And the Stags went right back to it. Chisholm finding Solomon Butler again at your service, sir. One more time, the deadly connection, and afterwards, he starts going to town on some soup. Based on those bites, I'm thinking it's Campbell's Chunky. Berkeley rolls 47 to 7. Soup that eats like a meal. You know it. Yes. James <laughs> Island hosted their Friday night football game against Wando. The second half was a battle of the defenses. Minutes into the third quarter, Wando linebacker Jake Fetchin intercepts the ball, changing the possession in Wando's favor. James Island then, they answered back with defensive lineman Anthony Campbell, who sacks Wando quarterback Braden Pritchard coming up right here. He's going to get taken down. Then near the end of the third, Quarter, near the end of the third quarter, Wando gets another pick, this time by full safety Will Parrott. Wando takes down James Island, 18 to nothing, no scoring in the second half on that one. Swamp Fox has taken on the Warriors in North Charleston, and that's Troy Grant finds the end zone and puts the Swamp Foxes up 7 to nothing. So they're feeling all right. Ashley Ridge on the move again. Guess who? Troy Grant. Another touchdown run. So Ashley Ridge is up 14 to nothing. Warriors not going quietly. Quietly. Keeper to Trey Washington. He runs in. They cut the lead in half, 14 to seven. But what do you know? It. RB Stall here in the last game of the regular season comes back and scores with under a minute left to notch their second win of the year, and in turn knocks the Swamp Foxes out of the playoff picture. Congratulations to Stall. Still can't believe that result. Stratford and the Region Champs, the Goose Creek Gators, and I want you to check out this freaking missile from Manny Mukwamu. 
When Ooh. you say a prayer tonight before you go to bed, be sure to include Malachi Taylor's hands. He holds on, though, for the score. And like FedEx, he can go by air and he can go by ground. Reaches over the goal line and he's got it. Mukwamu goes back for more on the back shoulder. And that's just top-notch reaction time from Savian Jones. Great pick on a good player at that. However, the Gators would come back strong in the second half and take this rivalry game 27-7. to so those are our 5A scores. Here's some 4A. Buford takes down Colleton County 31 to 21 tonight. They go through region undefeated and take the Class 4A Region 7 championship. 3A Region 7 title on the line between the two unbeatens. Manning and Bishop England. Costa is going to drop back and it's going to be sacked by Aaron Smith. Well, technically he's not on that occasion because <laughs> you're not looking at it, but you have to take our words for it. Yep. We'll look for it online though. Yes, we will have these Sounds highlights cool. online. Bishop England and Manning, we will have a look at those highlights coming up online. Bishop England, though, they fall to Manning 27 to 24. So Manning takes the region championship. That was a great game. One Very of our close blitz game. picks too. That was a big time blitz pick <laughs> that I picked Bishop England, Logan picked Manning. So, so we're see. psyched about Logan's right. All right, let's keep rolling with some highlights. Senior night at Waccamaw hosting the Hawks of Hanahan. The first play of the game. The first play of the game. Quarterback Denson Chrysler finds his wide receiver Tyree Funyi. Ooh, so Great fun. catch. So fun. Beats the <laughs> defender, then just eludes everybody. All of the Hawks goes 80 yards for the touchdown. Warriors lead 7 to nothing in just the first second of the game. On Waccamaw's next series, they're driving to the 11. Chrysler's pass picked off by the Hawks. Alex Harriet. So, Hanahan feeling good. Got a little bit of a spark. Second quarter, though, Warriors came in. Skinner breaks through their defense and races 59 yards. It's not 80, but it's 59 It'll yards. It's a touchdown. The two point conversion is no good, so Waccamaw leads 13 to nothing. Later in the second, Warriors leading 16 0. Hawks get something positive. They get a field goal, so they've got points. But at the end of the half, Warriors strike again. Chrysler finds Kaysong great in the end zone, 25 yards. The Warriors lead at the half 23 to 3. Waccamaw wins it 36 to 11. Georgetown completely dominated Academic Magnet tonight, shutting out 49 to nothing. And that'll bring the Raptors season to an end as they finish 1-7. and seven. Well, we have plenty more scores and highlights coming your way. Some 2A, some Class A. And then we have a Skiza upset in the final week of the regular season. We'll take a look right after the break.